Proximity alert. Something's coming. Where does that tunnel lead? Well, it connects to the rest of the... ...park. Claire, it's the T-Rex. It's the T-Rex. Stop! It's not the T-Rex! Probably. Probably? Deep breaths, Welcome to Kermit Uncut. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is currently in UK cinemas. You may well have seen it open in the middle of last week. And if you listen to the Radio 5 Live film show I do with Simon Mayo, you'll know that I reviewed it. And my verdict was, mm, it's okay, it's not great, it's kind of less exciting than I wanted it to be. There are things that I like, things that I don't like, you know, it's kind of all right. But it is, as I said, a bit meh. And I spoke to somebody afterwards who said, what did you think? And I said, oh, I see, this is all right. And they said, well, you know, it's interesting because you'd written a piece in a newspaper about how you were really looking forward to it, how you were really, really excited about it. You know, so what's the thing? And I said, well, I was really looking forward to it. I was really excited about it for a very simple reason. The film's directed by J.A. Biona, who's made some brilliant films, films I absolutely love. He made The Orphanage, which I think is a really great horror film. He made A Monster Calls, which is this brilliant sort of childhood fantasy which brilliantly combined special effects with heartfelt drama and he made the impossible which i thought was a very good true life story he's got a real knack of of blending special effects with the real nuts and bolts of storytelling so i had gone in with hopes high and this guy I was speaking to is a fellow film critic said yeah but you kind of knew it wasn't going to be any good you kind of knew that after jurassic world the, the series had sort of run its course and this is a middle film you know we've got another one coming and you must have known in advance. And I said, no, I genuinely thought this might be great. You have to go in thinking this could be the best movie that it possibly could be. Now, I know that I've said this about Michael Bay films and nobody believes me, that I go into Michael Bay films with an open mind, which I do, doesn't matter whether you believe me. And, you know, maybe one day he'll surprise me. In fact, he did surprise me because he produced A Quiet Place, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. I think that if you get to the point of going into something, even if it's a franchise instalment, even if it's a multi-million dollar blockbuster, when you know that quirky directors, generally when they take on multi-million dollar blockbusters, they lose a lot of the thing that you like about them in the past, you still have to hope for the best. And the moment you stop doing that, I think you have to stop being a film critic. I remember very clearly a colleague many, many years ago who'd been working in film criticism for a really long time, a brilliant writer, a really brilliant writer, who in his heyday, you know, wrote so fabulously and intelligently about film. And in the last few years of seeing him in screenings, he'd kind of come in with this, <sighs> and you go, hey, you know, what is it? And he'd go, oh, it's another, it's a, and I remember thinking to myself, that's the point at which you've got to stop. When you fall out of love with cinema, when you lose the belief that it might be great. So I was wrong about Jurassic World, but I wasn't wrong to hope that it would be great. It's just all right, and the next one may be great. Who knows? And if I go into the next one thinking, then I'll stop.